Hello kiddies, I am Wendy G. Kennedy once again on YouTube. I have some people inquiring about, well Wendy, are you planning to make a comeback to wrestling? Is Gino ever coming out of retirement? Uh, the answer is not at the moment. Uh, Dino is definitely concentrating on a full-time acting career, which has been very good, as I say. Um, Moi, of course, I moved on into drag queen shows, and soon I will be competing in drag queen pageants. Yes, pageants. So, but because, well, I still love wrestling. I don't want to turn my back on independent wrestling, the world that I came from. So my mission, or my self-appointing mission, yes, is made on my own accord. These people are not paying me a dime to do this, and I don't really much care about that because I love wrestling. So, of course, if they book me for shows, that's a different matter. That'll be a business matter, yes. I like some people. But, that's enough. I'm not going here to post anything, names or nothing, and start an argument because that is not my point. My point is simple. Support in the wrestling. Now going to the topic, um, or the question. The answer is, not at the moment. Now, if I come back to wrestling, because you can never say never to pro wrestling, my vision for it is to be a wrestling manager. Wrestling managers are able to lead most of the time a new talent. They groom them. That would be my job. To groom the future champion. Because you see, when they make you know, make it to the top, then, of course, they make more money, and therefore, I, the manager, makes more money. Simple as that. It's not just the pretty face walking the wrestler to the ring. No, no sorry. There's more to it. We teach them how to behave, babies. We teach them how to talk. We show them the ropes, babies. We tell them how to cut promos, honey. We conduct business, babies. That's right. No. I can speak, baby. I can speak my mind anytime. I can cut promos, baby, like it's no tomorrow, honey. So, and I can wrestle with the best of them to this day, even though I have. <laughs> my elbows are kind of messed up, but it happens, you know, to take it off of, after almost 10 years of beating on my body, heavy lifting. I have both my elbows, but oh, yes. I can live. It's uncomfortable sometimes. Then my left knee situation. I have purse on my left knee, and of course, doctors want to cut me again on that knee because, not just because of this purse, but because of a surgery that I was performed back in 2002. The polygraph has felt, I said, and the damage is yeah, there. And several ligaments are not exactly uh, doing great. They're deteriorating, so to speak, because of the heavy lifting. And the abuse I put through my body for years, even way before I got into pro wrestling. I, was, I, know, um, I did a lot of uh, hard work in my younger days. So. Oh, Lord. Anyways, my right knee, which is the one that I feel is supposed to be the good one has arthritis and is deteriorating, so to speak. And I tend to carry more on my right side now, my weight so that's the problem. Then I got my back. My back. Yes, my back. My back is still good, but it pops and cracks every now and then when I stretch and go to the <coughs> Not very good. I don't want to be the old timer in the wrestling reunion. Oh, brother, brother! Hey, me out, brother! I need some food, honey. Yeah. I'm the manager of champions, the champion of manager. I'm Wendy G. Kennedy. 
No, I don't know what's Or like, oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I look fabulous, but I don't look too fabulous. Where's my wheelchair, damn it? No, 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 I don't want that. I'm trying to make fun of nobody, I'm just saying. It's tough. Um, it comes with the territory, so. That's the life of a pro wrestler, so. You know, some people dare to say that pro wrestling is fake. Well, yes, it's true. The matches are predetermined. Yes, it's true. The finishes are predetermined. Yes, they got storylines involved, but fans, let me tell you something. And, you know, smarts. Guys, you know, deep inside your hearts, there is no, no way you can possibly fake gravity. No. You know, that been in the history of our sport, or sports entertainment, soon to be classified as entertainment, if not already, by the WWE. There's still stunts involved. There's a lot of physicality involved. And, you know, injuries are bound to happen. So, no matter where you are, who you are, what you are, you know that. You should know it. So, yes, pro wrestling is real, damn it, for some of us. And it's a lifestyle, whether you walk away from it or not. But enough is enough. Enough rant. Enough talk. Let's put it into action. So, kiddies, any info you have from any independent fed all over the world, feel free to send me that info. And I'll make sure to spread the word everywhere. So, why hang around with the big dogs? Which, you know, they're kind of fun and cool, but independent wrestling has that old school touch. The closeness to the wrestlers. That's what makes them special. Plus, they tend to do charity events that help the community more. Yeah. And like I said, it's the birthplace of tomorrow's superstars and tomorrow's legends. So, there you go. Hope to see you around. I know, for those who live in the French Quarter area, tend to hang around the French Quarter area. And that's a you get to see me at the show, guys. So I'll, I'll see you soon. Mwah.